How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you quite possibly the easiest way to embed PDFs into your websites. Now, this solution right here is going to require no external libraries or frameworks. It's all going to be done natively and it really is extremely simple. All right, so right here I have this new HTML document with nothing inside the body. Now, I assume you guys might be coming from an existing project or website and you are looking to embed the PDF into that website. If you are, don't worry, it should work perfectly fine. All right, now we're going to be embedding this sample.pdf, the same one that I showed you at the beginning of today's video. So very simple PDF document right here. And a quick shout out to this VS Code extension called PDF Viewer by Mathematic. I found this right here, just a really simple and easy to use extension and it basically worked right away. So without this, I would be showing you guys the PDF source code and not the actual visual preview here. So shout out to this extension and this developer right here. But anyway, going back inside the index HTML, let's embed that PDF into this file. So currently it looks like this in the browser an empty page of course as expected now heading back inside the code let's use an iframe to embed the pdf so down here we'll say iframe with a frame border of zero okay so of course this right here is the default value for frame border in vs code i recommend you guys also use this default value of zero to remove the uh, old school border that typically comes with iframes now inside the source we're going to simply specify a path to the pdf file so we'll say inside here uh, sample.pdf just like that Okay, I can now save this and go back in the browser and we are basically done. I'll refresh here and we get the PDF embedded just like that. Now, an important thing to note about this uh, method right here is that it's going to use the browsers or the operating systems default PDF viewer. So in this case here, like I showed you earlier, this is Chrome's PDF viewer. So it's going to use that one. And that's actually quite a good thing because it means uh, the operating system or the browser has control of, you know, what the user sort of sees in their PDF uh, container. So that helps with essentially keeping the user familiar with the user interface as well as accessibility. So it's actually a good thing in many scenarios that you're using the native viewer and not just some uh, predefined one. Of course, the predefined viewer, if done well, is perfectly fine and it's also consistent, but the native viewer is also really good. So what if I want to expand this here to, you know, to of course display those controls because by default on Chrome, you don't get the controls on top like you do here if it's too small. I also found on Firefox, having this, this small is actually going to display the controls anyway. So let's just go back inside VS Code here and essentially increase the width and height of the iframe to reveal those controls. So going up here inside the style, just give this, uh, give the iframe an ID here of something like my PDF. Okay, then we can target that ID inside the style, just like this, and simply give it a width of something like 85 pixels, sorry, 85 percent, and a height of 975 pixels. So of course, you guys can put whatever values you want inside here. I'll save this and refresh and we get this right here. So of course now Chrome is going to display all of the options on top, the pages, the zoom and so on. So it really is that easy to embed PDFs into your HTML document. And that is all for today's video guys. If this one helped you out, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.